of the singles tear up the charts now, so that's, that's good to hear. And uh, you guys are working with the DI Film Festival, did I read? Yeah, we uh, um, kind of donated the song to like I do as a free download. For, like, pretty much for them to do whatever they choose to do with it. You know, just give them free reign, you know, anything we can do to, to help out the troops. You know, we're always going to be there and always um, going to try to do everything we can for those people that pretty much put their lives on the line so that the rest of us can, can be free to do whatever the hell we want. So you guys have played over there overseas a couple times, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So how, what was the experience like? Unbelievable. You know, um, playing big shows in the country, you know, and getting to rock out in the band with your buddies every night is awesome. You know, it, it's, it's, it's an unbelievable opportunity. But years from now, when we're retired, and I'm sitting in an old folks' home, the shows that I'm really going to remember, and the shows that I'll, I'll talk about are those ones that, that really meant something to to, um, you know, to those military people, the, you know, the ones that that, 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 uh, that make all this possible. So, you know, those are the story, those are the ones that I'll remember. Those are the ones I'll tell stories about. You know, to actually be playing rock music and, and, and get to go and play in Iraq for the troops that are. You play Guantanamo Bay too, Guantanamo right? Guantanamo Bay, we've done Iraq, Kuwait. Um, we've been just about everywhere except for Afghanistan. Okay. So, you know, you guys are definitely pretty loyal to Ozfest and you have that coming up, so. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe we get to be there when <laughs> Ozzy and Molly. I know. I mean, that's a legendary, legendary touring package. I can remember when I was a kid and they were on the road together and they came through Dallas and my folks wouldn't let me go. I was heartbroken, but now I get to see him. It's, like, it's a dream come true. I might as well just, I, I can't imagine uh, just something bigger than that. There, there's nothing. I mean, and you know what? You can't get bigger than that. The only way you could is if Metallica played too. In the first show, they are. Oh my god. It's on fucking real. <laughs> I am so sad to hear that one's not coming through Camden. Yeah, I know. Lucky we get a date this year. So. Yeah, I can't believe it's only like five or six yeah, shows. Yeah. I wish there was like a year. I'd, I'd play every day. Yeah, I'm just glad that it's more than just Texas. So. Right, right. You know the um, at Ozfest in Awake that one Texas show that we were I mean, we were on the show. The place they had it in Utah Park yeah. it's about I could walk there from my house. Really? So that was awesome. That's for, like your backyard. Me, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> have a big party afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys are definitely one of the, you know, starting out on the second stage and everything at Ozfest. You're just one of the few that are just still the very in here. In 2001, the first Ozfest we ever did, we were day one, we were the very first band on the side stage. In fact, we went on so early, we had to play before they opened the gates. I might remember that. The very first show. <laughs> we played in front of nobody. Shave the ice so there's 
stainless steel. So someone, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> um, you know, we uh, we were writing the songs and listening to them back, and we were honestly liked everything so much that we thought the songs absolutely spoke for themselves and were a really good representation of where the band is at this point in time. So we decided that some uh, concept or talent title for the album would kind of dilute that. So we just slapped our own name on it and stuck it out there as it is. So you guys, you know, have played at Tonga festivals and things like that. Which do you prefer, the festival environment versus the club shows? You know, being on the road and touring is that your day-to-day -day routine can become very tedious and can just start to feel like a job. So what I really love are tours where you have a little bit of both so that every day, you know, it's a little change, you're, yeah. you're doing things differently. It just keeps it fresh and exciting. So I, I, I love it when it's, you know, mixed in. You know, like last night we just played a... Uh, been the Fillmore in Detroit, the Cedar. Okay. You know, and then today here we are at Rock on the Range. Yeah. It's, just, it's crazy, man. I love it. Uh, I love it when it's just up and down like that. So when things do get tedious, how do you guys spice it up? Um, you know, we're all big sports fans. So there's a lot of, you know, ESPN. And, you know, right now the NBA playoffs are going on. So there's a lot of that on our bus. So we're all pretty much pretty wrapped up in that. So I, I would say that's... Uh, that's something that kind of, that's, that's like the big thing in our lives outside of music and, and sports, especially in football and the NFL. Okay. So, uh, is there anybody you're looking forward to seeing at Rock on the Range? Um, you know, just a lot of friends, you know, I got a lot of friends here, so hanging uh, out with a lot of... It's probably like a class reunion. <laughs> yeah, you know, a lot of, not only a lot of the great bands, but, you know, so, so many of us share throughout the years uh, the same crew guys, you know, yeah. so... You know, all these techs and crew guys that you've hung out with, and, you know, I see them all over. The guy um, we stopped and talked to on the way in here to do this, James, he's a tech for Nonpoint, you know, great guy. We spent a lot of time on the road with him, so just little things like that. Awesome. So, um, is there a song of yours that holds a special place in your heart, and why? Um, yeah, there's a song on the Center Records, the very last song, it's a song called Sermon. Mm -hmm. And that song will always be special to me for the simple fact that I know for a fact that it was Dave's favorite song. So, so that one's always, uh, always going to mean a lot to me. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you so much for taking the time out Absolutely. to speak with Thanks us. Absolutely. Thanks for having Is me. Is there any uh, final message or comment you'd like to share with us, St. Fisikers? Yep. Keep checking out Jonathan. We got a lot of hits coming out. So, enjoy it, please.